I put a lot of weight by the CIPD and other academic qualifications. But when I'm hiring people, it, it isn't a barrier. Um, it's something that if they haven't got it when they join um, the organisation I'm with, I tend to want to support them to, uh, to take that route. Um, actually, I think the CIPD is very important. It's like your badge to say that you've got a foundation of knowledge. And again, according to what level you are, would I hire on it? No, I think it's what people do with the CIPD. So it's that experience um, that they've had. It's the ability they've got to be flexible with what they've learned. So I think it's important, but it wouldn't be the be all and end all. And I have hired HR people without it as well. So if I if if I were an organisation looking to hire a um, an HR person in because we haven't got one, then I think if I were the MD or chief executive of an organisation, I would think that the CIPD qualification gave me a sense of confidence that the person we were bringing in would be able to handle workforce issues, um, or to advise on workforce issues, or to advise on developing a strategy, etc. If as an HR director looking for them, I always look to see for people who have decided to professionalise their experience by qualifying it, but it's not the single most important thing. If I'm looking for somebody at head of HR or senior business partner level, I would expect them to have it with some with substantial experience. But I think what it gives you is access to some fantastic resources um, and I would support anybody in joining it, but it wouldn't stop me from recruiting somebody if they weren't, if their experience was great. Genuinely don't. Um, I support people if they choose to have that in terms of supporting their career development. I think it has, I genuinely think it has greater value um, now, earlier in your career. So I think from a personal confidence, personal gravitas, personal credibility, personal desire point of view, I'm fully supportive of people learning things and, um, you know, progressing in that way. But from a hiring point of view, it's I, I don't ever, ever ask for it. Um, I've done that myself uh, just because I think, uh, especially for the UK uh, recognised uh, HR professional body, it's... Um, it's an important step that you need to take. Um, I don't think it's actually uh, essential for the role, personally. Um, I think it's a bit uh, theoretical, a bit philosophical support, but actually it's not supporting uh, uh, the professional um, understanding of the role when you work in a different, different organisation or work in different sectors. So for me, if I was looking to hire somebody, I would always look at experience as well. That wouldn't preclude me from considering somebody because experience, whether that's in HR in, or in related um, activities, it is as important. So I think a combination of both, particularly if you're going to go into senior level, is a, an expectation that you're chartered. It shows that you've studied and it shows that you've got a level of um, skill and knowledge around the subject. So I'm looking more for um, a breadth of life experiences, because if you're not careful, you end up with lots of people who've got a CIPD qualification and they only have one way of thinking. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, and you will have a, a group of those and you might decide that the people that you take on, you want to take them down the CIPD route. But I'm looking for a, a, a vastly wider um, experience than, than simply whether they're able to learn things. I want to know, you know, a, 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 at a management level, I want to know that they've, they actually can manage people. It kind of depends what stage somebody's at in their HR career. So with me, I never, I didn't do any qualifications in HR, got to HR director level, big brand names, huge organizations, complex jobs, and I didn't have a single qualification because I developed through my experience and really good mentors and really good training. Uh, what I would say is it depends on the role. Um, obviously, if you're coming in as an administrator, I probably, the skills I'd be looking for would be administration and attention to detail and accuracy. So I wouldn't be that concerned if you didn't have that, if you had that experience. So for me, and, and even having said that, I think even as you go higher up the ladder, if someone had 25 years experience and didn't have a CIPD qualification, 
for me personally, it wouldn't make a difference.